How does a professional golfer play a par five? It's all about strategy. My name is Sophie Walker and I'm going to talk you through and show you how I play a par five. But before we get into it, make sure you like, comment and subscribe to our channel. First of all, I check the yardage. It's 529 yards. Anything over 500 yards is a three shot hole for me. Next, I see what line I need to take off the tee and what club I need. With it being so long, it has to be driver. But where is the trouble and where do I actually want to hit it? Now down the right hand side, there's some bunkers. So let's check how far away they are. 188 yards to carry those bunkers. So even if I hit a poor tee shot, I will still manage to get over them. There's out of bounds down the left-hand side. There's trees down the left-hand side. I'm thinking right half of the fairway. Even if I miss the fairway down the right-hand side, that is the place to be. I'm playing away from the trouble down the left, knowing I can carry the bunkers on the right. I picked a target on the right hand side of the fairway. It's the furthest tree on the down slope. I put a, picked a target also in front of me, only a yard, that divot. So the ball, the divot and the tree. When I'm rehearsing my practice swings, it's all about target and what shot I want to hit. So I'm thinking high draw here. Keep looking at that tree in the distance. That's all I'm thinking about. That's great, went a bit to the right, but I know I can carry that bunker. So there's no trouble there for me. That's a good miss and it opens up this hole. Hit it down the right hand side, managed to grab a piece of fairway and that has opened up this hole. As you can see in front of me, there's just a wide open space, but I can't see what's over that hill. So I'm gonna take a quick look. Nothing really down there. But if I hit it down the right hand side and blocked out by some trees, I've got the electricity pole, which is my left hand side of the fairway. And then I can't see the flag from where I am. So I'm going to look at just playing it right of that electricity pole. Now it's over 500 yards. I know I need to hit as much as I can from a quite a decent lie. So I'm thinking it's three wood as hard as I like favoring the left hand side. As I said, the lie's good, but even if I don't catch this grey, it's going to come out low and running. That's fine because there's nothing in my way. It's all about distance for this second shot. How far can I get it down that fairway? I've hit the tee shot that opens up this hole. Now I can go after it with my second. Happy with that? Let's see where it's finished. I found the fairway with my second shot. Now par fives we see on television all the time, people hitting them in two. This is the real world. And actually with this yardage in here, 130 yards. Okay, into a par five, that may not be great, but if I had 130 yards from the middle of the fairway into a par four, I'd be buzzing. That's exactly where I'd want to be. So spin it round, play to your positivity rather than, oh, wish I was closer. The flag is a yellow flag. I know from playing this golf course that yellow flag is in the middle. Now I've only got a laser to tell me that it's 130. If you've got a GPS front, middle and back, that's always good to know also. The bunkers on this hole are at the front of the green. There's no bunkers towards the back of the green. 130 yards, it's slightly uphill. I'm right in between clubs, in between an eight and a seven iron. But the fact that it's uphill and there's trouble at the front is gonna make me take the seven iron. Cause if I miss hit my eight, I'm gonna be coming up short and potentially to the right. Now my miss is short right. I know that I played enough golf to know that that bunker comes into play. I'm going to hit a seven iron, swing it smoothly. The ground is pretty soft. And even if I don't quite catch it, I'll still be on the green. I'm playing to percentages. I play to my 
85% shot most of the time. I don't always play 100%. Once in my life, I hit an eight iron 150 yards. I don't play that. I play to my percentages. I know the yardage. I know what club I'm hitting in seven iron. Lie wise, the ball is ever so slightly below my feet. So I'm just going to play with that slope. We'll try and ease a fade and work with the slope. When the ball's below your feet, it should go to the right hand side if you are a right hander. So we want to aim slightly left of this flag. Played with a lie, slid left to right. I'm on the green. Let's see if I can make a birdie. Now a shot that's moved to the right because of the lie, it would have carried that bunker on the right hand side. And now I've got a good look at birdie. I always like to measure the slopes. I use aim point. So this is going to move slightly from right to left. I do everything behind the ball so I can look down my target line. All my practice swings are from behind the ball. Got the line on my ball. All I'm thinking is just outside the right and I'm trying to match the stroke, my practice stroke, to how hard I want to hit it. Oh, too hard, too hard. And that is how I play a par five. I've walked off with a par five, but three things to consider from this video is the first one, how I plotted my way down the par five. I took every shot individually without thinking too far ahead because at over 500 yards, that can be quite daunting. The second thing I did was I did most of my practice, my visualization, my rehearsals from behind the ball, looking down the hole or towards the target. Too many people do all their practice swings from at the side of the golf ball. And as, as right-handers, we end up aiming too far right because of that. And the third thing was I did play the hole quite conservative, thoughtful, but when I got on the green and I had that birdie look, I gave it a go. I played positive there. I wasn't satisfied with a par. I wanted to try and take that chance of making birdie. So you do the same. If you give yourself an opportunity to make a good putt, to make a good score, don't back away from it and take two putts. Have a go at it. Okay, I didn't make it, but I come off that green feeling quite positive about my score. Thanks for watching the How Did I Do Academy. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and keep an eye out for all our new content.